are those mysterious sons of God? An hypothesis. Hypothesis. There exist four classes of beings called sons of God. Condemned spirits that rule over nations, repentant Israelites who had rebelled against Yahweh, God incarnate as the human being Jesus Christ, all human beings that put their faith in Jesus Christ. The Condemned Spirits That Rule Over Nations After the Great Flood, created beings called Sons of the Gods, B'nai Ha Elohim, illicitly mingled with human women. The sons of God came in to the daughters of man, and they bore children to them. The true God has passed judgment on these sons of the gods because of their wicked rule over human nations. God has taken his place in the divine council, in the midst of the gods he holds judgment. How long will you judge unjustly? I said, You are gods, sons of the Most High all of you. Nevertheless, like men you shall die, and fall like any prince. The Israelites who have rebelled against Yahweh. The Lord calls the Israelites his children who have rebelled against him. Children have I reared and brought up, but they have rebelled against me. They have forsaken the Lord, they have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. However, one day they will be restored and again called sons of God. The number of the children of Israel shall be like the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. And in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people, it shall be said to them, Sons of the living God. God incarnate as the human being, Jesus Christ. When Jesus was conceived in the womb of a virgin, the angel Gabriel said to her, He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. The Apostle John explained the Incarnation in this way. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who gives eternal life to human beings. God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. All human beings that put their faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus conferred the title Sons of God on those who obey him. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. The Bible confers this title on those who have faith in Jesus. In Christ Jesus you are all sons of God, through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. You are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. Thus human beings may attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Those who are considered worthy to attain to the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage, for they cannot die any more, because they are equal to angels and are sons of God. Conclusion The mysterious sons of God were spirit beings who disobeyed God and have been condemned to hell. 
those spirits have been replaced by human beings who put their faith in the Son of God. These human sons of God will rule over nations in the coming kingdom of God. 